Hello Sausage, this is Nana Beryl and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to resize your screen if you've just installed The Sims 2. Now this is the ultimate edition and we're using someone else's computer because mine's already been set up. So this is someone else's and he's agreed to let me use his computer and show us how to do this. Because he's a techie person, yes. So now we're going to alter your screen size. Now, you might have the ultimate edition, and if you do, we're looking to alter the file that's found in the pets pack, which might be called Fun With Pets. Uh, now, you might find that if your laptop uh, resolution is like his, you'll see here you can just alter that and click Apply Settings. I've just zoomed in to show you. But if not, you'll need to alter a file which can be found in this directory if you downloaded the game from Origin Games. But take the A out of Origin because I screwed that spelling up, love, and find that directory, love, on your drive, which is your drive you use to install The Sims 2. So once you've found this folder, you double click on it, and then you go to The Sims 2 Pets or Fun with Pets, TS Data, double click on that, love. That's right, so we're going to open that and then go to Res. And then we're going to go to config. Now when you open this graphics rules file, it might ask you to open it with a specific program. So choose notepad and then alter these settings in here is what we're going to do. But for now, we're going to save a copy of this, a backup version of it, under my documents library. We're going to do that, yes, under the my documents folder in library. Just so that if we alter it and we don't like it, we can just replace the file again, love. Yes, so we're going to make two copies of this. Name this one original um, original settings. And I'm going to make another copy, which I'm going to put under the software library. And I'm going to alter the software library one. Um, I'm going to call it the same name as the original file. And then alter it. But I won't show you me doing that. I'm just going to open it straight away after I've done this. There you go. Now I've opened up my file. I'm going to modify. And these three numbers here need to be altered to three. Okay, so put three on all of them. That's right. Now press Control F on your keyboard and up will come this find box. And I want you to put those exact words in there. Option, screen mode, resolution, and then click find next. And then you'll have, it'll scroll down the page to find this. Yes, and these are the actual resolution settings for your monitor that it will display at. This is a close up of it, love. Now, your monitor, you first of all need to find out your monitor's resolution. Now if you have integrated graphics on your motherboard, then you might have an Intel HD one. If you do, go in here on your on your taskbar, click on that little icon, then advanced mode up here, and then go OK, and it will show you your resolution, what it's set at. Over here, love, that's right. Now if you don't have this, darling, you can go down to your Windows key instead. I'll show you that in a moment. Here we go, Windows then control panel and then appearance and personalization and adjust screen resolution and it will show you this here now if you're not certain what it's on it's on that anyway but if you're not certain click the drop down box and it will show you the, the maximum amount you've got there so those are the settings you want to put in those are the numbers you want to put in which i've already done see i've done it here now i've altered these top two lines but if your one is not if it's proper hd then you'll need to put these settings in here love 1920 by 1080p. So if yours says 1080p monitor, widescreen monitor, then that's what you put in to these lines here instead. You need to do it on all four um, sections. So I'm gonna do that on this one. I should have started at the top, shouldn't I, love? Yes, I should have. Yes, I'm going a bit senile, I think, love. Yes, I'm gonna do this, and then alter this one here to 1080p. That's right. And then alter this one, in fact, actually, I should have just copied this one up here. Save time, love. Yes, I should have. So I can right-click on that. I'll think I'll select that area and then right-click on it and then click copy on the left click and then paste it over these ones here, love, by pressing right-click and then left-click on paste. Oh, now it's a bit unaligned, isn't it? So I'm going to backspace that a little bit. I need to do that to the top one too, love. Yes. But remember, just because we're increasing size, you know, si bigger size is not always better, love. You know, it's not the size that counts, love, as they say, is it, love? No. So alter all of these, so only these first two lines in each section. Those are the ones you alter, just the first two lines in each section. That's if you have an HD monitor, love. So you choose the number that you've just found before for your computer and then click Save. Now my one, of course, the one we're using is just this resolution here. Now, because we've, we're saving it to a folder here on the soft, under the software directory, I'm going to click copy, copy that 
file and we're going to find that directory where the sims2 is again under the program files and we're going to choose the sims2 ultimate collection sim2 pets and then ts data railway down here that's right love and then res and then oh no on wrong one sorry into config and then we right click in an empty space right click in an empty space and click paste with the left mouse button and yes we want to copy and replace it because we have a backup love so yes so we're going to replace it on his computer so we've got it there now when you open it you'll see that it should have the new settings that's right love at the top and also three quarters of the way down the resolution settings will be nana beryl's custom resolution settings for this computer that's right love see on each line here we go and then what we do is we open it back up again now when you first open the sims 2 um, it won't look HD like this love it won't be widescreen like this when you first open it um, again but we're just going to do this and we need to go to the settings you see in the sims 2 so it'll still be a square box when you first open it but we need to go into the graphics settings once all of this is loaded and we're loading Strange Town, I think it's called, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Now, because it's on someone else's computer, it's got no uh, DLC added. Well, not DLC, it's got no mods or custom stuff added at all. Is it, love? No, it hasn't. So, we're going to go to the settings down here. And as you can see, I've got my settings in there that we've altered. And then you click Apply Change, and that will make it the full size of your screen. Now, yours should show the HD settings of 1920 by 1080 when you click it it should expand your screen love that's right so very nice hopefully that works for you dear now remember if you don't have the sims 2 ultimate edition um, it will be under a different directory it might be under the last gaming pack that you installed and um, with the same file name so that's where we'll leave it for today love thank you so much for watching hope this helps you leave some comments below if you like and if you want to subscribe because we'll be doing some more tutorials at some stage too love bye bye